first, downtown Dayton has seen a record number of graffiti tags over the last two years. Yeah, city officials say that more than 2,000 tags were removed in 2022 alone. Two News reporter Riley Phillips joins us live now in the studio, breaking down the numbers and what can be done to prevent it. Riley? Graffiti spiked more than a 300% last year compared to 2021. And while the number of tags are not as high so far this year, it's still an issue that takes time and resources to fix. Some people consider it art, but graffiti tags are a growing problem in the city of Dayton. According to the Downtown Dayton Partnership, more than 2,300 tags were removed in 2022 compared to just 544 in 2021. So far this year, more than 700 tags were cleaned up. We've got uh, people who think that when they do graffiti, it's art, but when you put it on other people's property or in the public right of way, that's vandalism. City leaders say graffiti is a tricky issue to deal with. It's difficult to catch the people responsible for the tags and it takes time and resources to clean up the paint. Sometimes it can just be power washed off. Other times we have to get the ambassadors have to get approval from the property owners to repaint over them. The downtown Dayton ambassadors work weekly to get rid of graffiti. They try to tackle the tags within 24 hours. Sandy Gudorf, the president of the downtown Dayton partnership, says they don't know why the city is seeing this increase in graffiti. She says one of their strategies for deterring this type of vandalism is beautifying the city, like wrapping the utility boxes, which has already seen success in curbing graffiti. We have noticed once spaces are beautified, whether it's with murals or other art or just well-maintained buildings. Quite often, those, those buildings and those murals are left alone, so it shows a sign of respect. The Downtown Dayton Partnership encourages people to call the police if they see someone tagging. If someone is caught tagging, they could be charged with a felony and be required to pay a fine. In the studio, Riley Phillips, 2 News.